The Track Changes feature, when you turn it on for a document, like let's say this one here, will keep track of any changes that anybody makes to this document in the color red. Well, it doesn't have to be red. You can go ahead and change those options, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But before I show you that, it's a good idea to set up the user information for your document here, or for all of Office, as we learned in an earlier training video, because when you make a change, it'll tie your name to that change, which is a good idea because if you're collaborating with a bunch of people on the same document, and they all make changes to it, when you hover over a change, it'll pop up that user's name. So you can go ahead and ask them why they made the change or what their point was behind the change in any case. To go ahead and set the user information up, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Options. There's the General tab, selected by default, just come down here, and there it is, Username and Initials. Go ahead and type in your name and initials, click Okie Dokie, and let's go ahead and come up here, click on the Review tab, and there it is, the Tracking Group. All you have to do to turn this feature on is click on the Track Changes button, or you can click on the drop-down arrow and click on, well, Track Changes there as well. But before we do that, let's take a look at the tracking options, click on it. By default, when it comes to marking up a document, you know, inserting text, deleting text, changing lines, making comments, the formatting for inserting text is that it'll be underlined. You can go ahead and change it to some other format. I'll leave it underlined. It'll also have the color by the author. I can change that and say any insertions made by anybody will be in the color blue. Also, any deletions will have a strike through it. And instead of the color by author, we'll say all deletions will be in the color red. And so you can go through this in each section for any moves or table cell highlighting or formatting or balloons, how you want to keep track of it with the different colors and options. When you're finished, go ahead and click OK and come up here, click on the button. When you click on it, it highlights it. That means the tracking feature is now on. So any changes that I make, like if I add text, as you recall, it has the two formats applied to it. It colors it in blue and underlines it. If I delete any text, colors it red and puts a strike through it. Doesn't get rid of it. That way we can still keep an eye on what the original text was and not guess, hmm, what was here before? Well, we know what it was because it still has the word there. But the intent was, was to get rid of it. In fact, it's probably a good idea when you make changes that if somebody needs a little bit of a feedback instead of just deleting something, maybe replacing it with something, you can make a comment by coming up here on the review tab to the comments group and wherever your cursor's at, you can leave it there next to night or you can go ahead and select it and then come up here and click on new comment and then it adds the comment over to the side, it says it's a comment so there's user information coming in, the initials KK and because it's my first comment it has the number one. See the cursors flashing within the comment balloon? Just go ahead and start typing. You know like I don't like night, please use something else. You can even hover over your change and it gives you a pop-up, something a little bit bigger to read than looking over into that uh, margin there. So it says who made the change, when they made the change, what time, and the comment, I don't like night, please use something else. And then of course you can hover over those changes that don't have comments, like the text we just added. It said who added the text, when they added the text, and well, what was inserted. Well, there it is, add text. So when I hand this off to somebody else, and they make changes to it, and add any comments to it, which we'll learn in the next training video, I'll get a little bit more detailed there because later on after they make all the changes you want to be able to learn how to accept and reject those changes. In any case when you hand it off to somebody else they could easily come up here and click on the button to deselect it so they can go ahead and add text and delete text and it wouldn't keep track of it which wouldn't be good because any changes that they make you want to keep track of right? If you're concerned about that then don't use the option here instead on the review tab to the protect group Click on Restrict Editing, then come down here and check number two, Editing Restrictions. Click on the drop down arrow and say you want Tracked Changes. Click on Yes, you want to start enforcing it. Type in the password PASS, PASS, hit Enter. So any changes they make, it'll keep track of it. So if they start typing, you can see, well, it's kind of tiny, but typing there is highlighted, it's being tracked. But unless they have the password, they can't go ahead and deselect the track changes. They have to come over here and click on stop protection and like I said if they don't have it but if they do go ahead and hit enter then they can go ahead and delete make changes to the uh, document and no big deal I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the task pane here and clean this up thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video